Well, I, I guess I can't describe it. It was just, it was just constant. Details about what forced the Delta Airlines flight from. Nobody can tell it any worse than what it was. From Atlanta, Barcelona to turn around Friday night mid-flight. It was that bad. Today is a very serious video. We're going to be talking about one of the most dangerous, one of the most horrifying flights to ever go up in the sky. Not that one. <laughs> Do we know the name of the flight? Yeah, there it is. We're of course talking about Delta Airlines flight DL-194, codenamed the Poopy Pigeon. <laughs> this in recent memory is one of the most disturbing, one of the most haunting stories to grace us on the internet yet. And let me tell you something, it takes a lot for an airplane halfway through its travel to be like, there, there's, we cannot go any farther. We have to turn around and come back. And that is unfortunately what happened to Delta Airline flight D, uh, D, DL-194. The Poopy Pigeon is now an infamous, also Poopy Pigeon, that's that's mine, Tr trademark. Trademark, mine. What happened on Poopy Pigeon? What happened on DL-194? Definitely not as fun as saying Poopy Pigeon. Was a woman. Did you just assume my Poor man, Wolf. Well, I'll tell you the story, calm down. Shot diarrhea all over the plane. And when I say all over the plane, it's not just your seat where someone's like, oh no, it, all over the plane from front to fucking back i mean unbelievable so let me go in depth about what happened on this aircraft that had to turn around and re-land back at its starting destination today's video is sponsored by bad dragon Bad Dragon has been a long-standing sponsor and partner with this channel, and honestly, we love working with them. Are you trying to get a little more extra spice, a little more zest, a little more fantasy into, you know, the personal side of your relationship or your own needs and wants and desires? Consider Bad Dragon. They make incredibly high-end products. They're some of the best, kindest people I've ever met. Quality control and customer satisfaction is always at the top of their list, and they have such an amazing team working up there and an amazing audience that already loves them. So if you're trying to explore something new, and if you're 18 years old, Older, gotta be an adult. Head on over to baddragon.com and check them out. And uh, you know, we have a little secret of our own coming up with them very soon. So thank you, Bad Dragon, for sponsoring the video and back to the video. On this aircraft that had to turn around and re-land back at its starting destination. Friday, September 1st, not so long ago. It was a warm, humid Atlanta day. Partly cloudy throughout, but nothing adverse outside of a slightly darker sky. Not an uncommon sight for Georgians around this time of year. For most passengers, we start at the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. ATL, baby. Right? You can have whatever you like. That's, uh, what's it? Who's that guy's name? There's a movie, ATL. What the fuck? The guy was in it. Jackson, me, Patron, on ice. We can have whatever you And the Grammy goes to. That's, that's mine. <laughs> or here, actually, I'm just going to say. Oh, wait, I remember what it was. <laughs> Beep, lo, 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 lo. There you go. Do me justice there, please. For most passengers arriving at Atlanta's busiest airport, this was just another normal day for air travel, especially for those slated to board Delta Airlines flight DL-194, a common flight route that takes place most evenings, transporting passengers from Atlanta to Barcelona. <laughs> it's procedure for flight DL-194 to depart sometime around 6.40 most nights. However, on this night, there were some pretty extensive delays for those weary travelers that extended their stay in Atlanta for one hour and 49 minutes. Just enough time for a concoction to brew. Already disgruntled, these poor aerial, com aerial commuters were oh, dude, I'm sorry, were oblivious to the events that would take place and change their lives forever fucking lightning but let's go down even more specific what was the exact breakdown of this horrible event every time code used here is edt or eastern daylight time the event went as followed 8 20 p.m passengers at atlanta's hartsfield jackson international airport board flight dl-194 in preparation for their eight hour and 38 minute trip to barcelona 8.48 p.m. After lengthy delays, Delta Airlines flight DL-194 departs from Atlanta at 8.48 p.m., beginning its journey up through the eastern United States and over the Atlantic Ocean. 9.10 p.m. A passenger sitting in row 17B hears an old woman say, Miss, my stomach, do you have any times that my stomach hurts? 9.26 p.m. 
passengers of the Airbus A350 begin experiencing something unsettling. Alongside a frantic flight crew, many could smell a faint stench. A stench that wouldn't stay faint for much longer. 9.30 p.m. Passengers become increasingly aware of a medical incident happening within the cabin. A biohazardous threat, as was described by the crew. 9.34 p.m. Panic ensues. Or maybe it didn't. We're not really sure because there's not much information about what's happening at this point. However, we do know that, according to one passenger, people were crawling over their seats to get away from it. 9.36 p.m. The pods begin to change course. Alerting air traffic control that there has been a biohazard incident on board. It's just a, a biohazard issue. I, you know, we've had a passenger who had diarrhea all the way through the airplane. A messy trail of diarrhea left by a struggling passenger. This was a severe understatement, as many accounts state that explosive diarrhea had been smeared along the entirety of one of the craft's main aisles. 9.38 p.m. The flight crew is attempting to mop up the mess with paper towels and even scented wipes. One passenger notes that this just makes it smell like vanilla Stop shit. Smearing my it smells like vanilla I shit. I think it smells kind of good. 9.45 p.m. The diarrhea cleanup operation is overwhelming the efforts of the flight crew, so they employ a runner to keep bringing them paper towels as they frantically wipe. Passengers use what they can to hide their nostrils from the scent. Many begin to realize they may not make it back home alive. 9.52 p.m. The pilots finish redirecting the aircraft towards the diverted path back to Hatsfield-Jackson International Airport, a.k.a. Atlanta. 10 p.m. There's nothing at this time to report, but we imagine it's torture for those on board. If we had to guess, it probably sounded something like this. Ten forty p.m. Delta flight DL-194, now codenamed Poopy Pigeon, finally makes it back to Atlanta, arriving at the gate after a seven-minute taxi where the passengers are, at long last, able to disembark with haste. As the passengers continued to deplane, one individual was able to capture this disturbing footage of the biohazard aftermath. 2.57 a.m. After spending another five hours at Hatsfield Jackson, the poor souls of Delta Flight DL-194 finally depart Atlanta once more. Fortunately for all the travelers involved, the story ends here. They'd been transferred to another flight that was able to successfully complete its trip to Barcelona. <laughs> yes, that was the tragic tale so far of a poopy disaster. And you saw how fucking gross it was. But for a lot of people, the story doesn't end there. So apparently, whenever they landed, the ground crew spent hours ripping out all of the diarrhea embedded carpet off the plane. People don't get paid enough for this kind of service. It's, ugh, oh my god, I cannot imagine being on my hands and knees doing that. My, Honestly, my cap's out to all the janitors out there who have had to probably pick up shit at least once or twice. I think that if Delta, if I was, if I was fucking Tim Delta, if I was the CEO of this company, I would sue that old woman. I don't care how old you are. I'd be like, bring me her fucking head, dude. Are you kidding me? The, the, this plane is done. It's like buying a house you know someone died in. You're just kind of like, okay, well, am I really going to live here? Fuck that. They're probably going to have to scrap the plane now. I I thought this was an intriguing story because from what we've seen in the video, just such an unbelievable amount of diarrhea, and I can't even imagine what some of the souls on this plane were even going. Oh, wait, hold on a second. What is that? Flobble, lobble, lobble. I see. Lobble. So next time that you're deciding to fly out into the world, maybe you'll go to Atlanta. Hell, maybe you'll go to Barcelona. Be sure. Maybe use the bathroom before you fly out. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. We will see you next time. Over and out. Cool.